Where are we going? Sitting Bull's camp. I know, but where are we going? I know. My name's Spanish Main Mugly. Not when you're daft. Timber shivered while you wait. Who might you be? The scourge of the seven seas, Long John Silver, OBE! <laughs> <laughs> uh, OBE? I be fine and OBE! <laughs> Ducky, I just go lovely golden brown. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm Maxwell, the terror of the Caribbean. Really? In the flesh, not a cartoon. Aren't you Long John Silver? Aye, and that's the R.U.B. R.U.B.? I be fine, and R.U.B. <laughs> Hello, my name's Professor Karloff. I've had an exhaustive morning pulling up the floorboards of my drawing room. You see, I wanted to wish my first wife a happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Igor. You must excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I must return to my laboratory. My blood is boiling! Oh, 
I'm not surprised, honey. He sends me too. <laughs> Batman! Batman! How do you conquer Gotham City and conjure good from evil? It's a little trick. A very clever trick. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. Very much. <laughs> I'm about to sentence you to prison, my boy. <coughs> I don't... I want you to look on the bright side, you understand? One day you'll be free again. You can get a nice job with a computer farm. But this is 1861. Computers haven't been invented yet, have they? They will be when you get out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Do you submit? Yeah? Do you submit? Do you submit? You are going to you! There's a terrific draft in here. Well, shut that door. <laughs> hey, do it. Yeah, Ken Ken. I was just wondering. What happened to that tough guy, Luke McKenzie? Oh, Luke went west. And uh, now he's a ballet dancer who does a bit of interior decorating on the side. No kidding. Yeah, he went that away. <laughs> now is the winter of our discontent, meet glorious summer by this son of York, and all the clouds that lower upon our house. And... <laughs> Watch the birdie. <laughs> Driver, would you turn left on Bedford? I'll tell you where to stop. Hey, I told you we were going to the garden, Charlie. Sure, but I want to cover a bet on the way over. Anyway, it'll give us a little more time to talk. Now, can I ask you something, kid? Sure, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Okay, just tell me this, slugger. Are the finks, ginks, and gunzels in this burg selling straight riff, putting you down for a cheese eater? A rubber-lipped ex-tanker who's walking on his heels and tabbing Johnny Friendly and his rib-ups for a quick spritz with loophole gizmos for the shape up set up. Well, it's... it's not quite as simple as that, Charlie. The word on the water for the front, Charlie, is that you got some kind of personal prejudice against one of the peers we control through the local. Now, which one is it, kid? Yeah, which peer don't you like? Lord Longford. 
Harry, if you don't testify about certain people you know, there will be a new job for you. Four hundred dollars a week just for openers. So take the job, kid. Do you hear me? Take the job. You're gonna take the job whether you like it or not and keep your mouth shut. Now make your mind up before we get to 2437th Street. <laughs> I ain't taking the job. Stop hey, Perry, you asked for it! <laughs> One, two, three. I'm a guy. I'm a Steiger counter. <laughs> We have a really wonderful singer here, a young boy. I want to tell you very much indeed. His name is Mr. Gene Pitt, and we want to see him. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dearest, darling, I have to lie to say that I won't be home anymore. Has something happened to me? Mm, now. <laughs> Friends, thank you tremendously. That was the Reverend Cassius Nabarro and his educated spoons. Now, let's meet our next sponsor. <laughs> How do you do, old son? Who are you? Well, guys and girls, we have now... I'll tell you what the pops are housed about that. Then we have now... A guys and girls, we have the hair... Full of hair... Full of hair... Is that with two Fs? <laughs> No, it's really like, uh -huh. That's really tremendous, old son. And who are you going to introduce to us on the show here tonight? Well, hand of a 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 hand Let's have a real Bridlington welcome for impressionist Arthur Mallard, for whom once again, opportunity knocks. And now, my impression of that king of the gangster merchants, Yankee Doddle himself, the one and only James Kegley. <laughs> you dirty rat. It's time now to meet our next new sponsor here on our all newcomer show. He's got a really great new act with a new approach. And that's the end of the news. Here's our sponsor. <coughs> Excuse me. How do you do, old son? Who are you? Dick Joy, suffering most for this. <laughs> you see, whole hot peggers on the leg loads and strokey for this. All nice legs are for Oh, yes, Dick Joy. Well, that's really wonderful. And who are you going to introduce to us here on the show tonight? A little boy grown up with Singy from the same screw from different walkovers and thummy hump, hitchhiking and walk down Prospect again. 
Well, thank you tremendously, Mrs. Navarro. <laughs> and so, friends, for Arthur Mallard, impressionist from Walworth, opportunity knocks. Good evening, and hello to all you out there in television land. For my first impression, uh, impersonation, uh, imitation, call it what you will. And if you do, I'll knock your teeth down your front. <laughs> For my first take off, the legendary Marlene Deep Screech. I can't help it. Friends, I want to tell you now, let's see who our first sponsor is tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, madam. <laughs> tell me, what's your name? Well, first thing, my name's always present on the first thing in the same day, baby. So I want to say <laughs> Oh, that's really wonderful. <laughs> in a jumbo jet? Well, that's all right. I want to first thing. I just want to shave my legs, baby. That first thing I want to lose. <laughs> Tell me, who you're going to sponsor tonight? Well, yeah, first thing I want to do is I want to shave my legs. I just want to be honest with you. I want to first thing I want to Well, that's really wonderful. And what does he do? Well, it's one of us. It's one of us. It's all me. I just want to show you about it. It's all first thing I want to scream. He does impression. No. Well, it's all for Zoss, one of us, and the swastika from off last. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Arthur Mullet of Bilston Garden City, Opportunity Knocks. We want to see him. Let's hear it, Frank. Let's hear it. Good evening to all my friends and my take offs. Boy, there. For my first skit tonight, here is my impression of that top of the silver screen, Carrie Brown. <laughs> Judy, Judy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't go there to pages. Do you run off with my wife? Can I borrow your horse? Okay, but it'll make a mighty poor substitute. <laughs> well, friends, let's meet our, our first sponsor for tonight. Tell me, monsieur, who are you going to introduce to us tonight? <laughs> hey, well, it's like that, here. Aye, aye. It's all right, and I suppose that now it's, you know, it's a good player, aye, good player, aye, 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 aye. Oh, what? That really is a good player. Yes, he really is, yes. And, uh, <laughs> tell me, uh, who you're going to introduce again tonight? Well, you see, what about that nice little around? Oh, that? Oh, of course, yes, of course, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about you. Yeah. I just want to make it like that. I just want to make it like that. Thank you very much, Shane. And what's he going to do for us besides that? Oh, we've got an impressionist on the show. Well, friends, for Mr. Arthur Mullard of Lima, Peru, Opportunity Night. Hello, everyone, and Mullard worshippers everywhere. My first impression tonight the man who became a lifetime in his own legend. <laughs> the immoral Charles Lafton as Casimodo, the aspect of Notre Dame. <laughs> the bells. Those bells are driving me bleeding mad. <laughs> Stick your finger in your ear. Oh, yeah. And now, 
I'm going to show you how to make dinner for 50 people. Now, first of all, first of all, we get, of course, an eighth of an inch of water. Then, of course, then, of course, we get the brown sugar and just put a touch. Then, of course, we get the egg, which is very, very important, because this egg... <laughs> the egg was important, but it's not so important after all. <laughs> mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, as all you do now is get half a pound of sugar. <laughs> and a touch of milk. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> get down. <laughs> we, we add, of course, <laughs> some raisins. Now the raisins. Now these are very good if you have to suffer at all, if you can't sleep, because <clears throat> I'll kill that rabbit. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what. Now, of course, we had the self-raising flour. Let me out! Stay in. <laughs> We keep mixing this, of course, with the hands, because this is got to be the right texture, the right texture, because this is very, 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 very important. Then, of course, we have the egg. Now, the egg is very important. Just two eggs will do. Just two, no more than two. That's it. A bit more milk. Okay. <laughs> more raisins. And add in the box. This is very, very important. In the box. <laughs> you see, because that gets the right texture again. <laughs> then add a bit more water. I've got you. And then, more flour. <laughs> Two more eggs? <laughs> I don't know. Get down! <laughs> then a bit more milk. love the nose of that. <laughs> and then, of course, we have no more flour except for this. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> then, of course, more, more, must be another touch. <laughs> Johnny, please. <laughs> then, of course, <laughs> more raisins. And this <laughs> lovely here. Love, that's lovely. Lovely. I love all this, you know. It's really fun, all this. It's all fun. <laughs> lovely. It's all, all coming out. Um, this should make a lovely dish. And now, for the mix. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's them? Harold. Harold who? How soon they forget. Well, it was my friend, Link, friend, Robin. I'm here, Batman. Good thinking, Robin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you may or may not, once in your life, suffer. But there's no need to suffer now because... <laughs> now, let's see. You put your hands together for a range of two continents. Fair Isle and Rockall.
Also, Mr. Maxwell. Him, cheetah. Just sitting on the left. to you. Yesterday I made a speech in the Commons which had the whole house standing and applauding and cheering for 20 minutes. And I must admit, I had a strange choking feeling in my throat. Ted Heath was strangling me. Tell me, uh, what's the first thing you do when you get back to the dressing room? Uh, stop the bleeding. <laughs> Tell me, uh, you fought Kid Johnson and you fought Kid Lewis. I fought Kid Lewis and I fought Kid Johnson. Then you fought Kid Bird. Then I fought Kid Bird. Then what happened? Then I started losing. Why? I started fighting grown-ups. So you want that right now when I first see you. Get out. I just want to do right now because I want to hear but I want to shake my leg one more time because nobody's going to ever stop me. Yeah, stop messing up. Hey, Mr. Parsley. You know, I, I only saw your last film three times. Really? Yes, I couldn't find my shoes anywhere. <laughs> Thanks a lot, baby. My name is Office President. One more time, shake my lip. And here we go again. <laughs> Um, yeah, Mr. Parsley. Yeah, baby. I just saw your last film. My latest? No, <laughs> your last. Guys and girls, how's about little song now? And tell the boss, how's about the hood? Tell the boss song now. They got us from the house, about 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 the house,
Now, we're going to song now. Get down. Now, we're going to song now. Now, it's about a beautiful song now from Scylla Block. Thank you, Dr. Man. Okay, children. Watch the vulture. Hey. Everything's all set, okay? Okay? Everything's all set. What do you mean? Set for what? For the break, dummy. The break. The break. We're going over the wall, dummy. We're going over the wall. Are you with us? No. No? Why not? Because I'm the water. <laughs> Who are you? Iroquois, Apache, Mohegan, me, Sioux. Your tribe? No, my name. <laughs> I'm Marshall. Can you shut that door? <laughs> sure. You? Yep. What's on your mind, McClintock? Somebody stole my horse three months ago. Well, why didn't you report it before? I didn't miss it until today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> me, my dear. What exactly were you doing on the night of September the 3rd, 1968? Don't you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Clark of the court, uh, did you get that down? Uh, yes, my lord. Yes, well, rub it out immediately. Oh, you are lawful. <laughs> but I like you. Gentlemen, I'd like to say first thing I'm gonna do when I shake my leg, my bone falls off again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta tell something right now, because I'm gonna sing. I ain't gonna sing because the little one John kisses the scissors and cuts it like this. I'm gonna do it right now. And I don't care if it cuts me right off. <laughs> How's John? I'd like to sing now my favorite song, my latest recording, and it goes something like this. Thanks, Sam. I'm just an old fashioned girl, old fashioned mind. Some sophistication when I shoot to shag and twine. Lit you can try to nush friend, you can try to you can try. An old fashioned millionaire. Thank you very much indeed. And now, what about a goose? Oh! <laughs> Well, I'm driving now, I'm working now to double up some howls about that. Now, it gives me great pleasure. <laughs> Get down. It gives me great pleasure now to introduce that young man who swirls his hips, Mr. Elvis Presley. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
honky tonk. Oh! <laughs> Love that boy. <laughs> I'll never know what makes the grass so tall. Oh, here. Yeah. It's, it's manure. <laughs> What are you doing here? Me want Tom Tom. Well, that's me. I'm Tom Tom the Piper Son. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do? I'm a typist. Oh, and do you do it quickly? <laughs> Beg pardon? I mean, the quicker you do it, the sooner you'll find yourself in a better position. <laughs> oh, you are awful. <laughs> but I like you. <laughs> My name's Two Gun Rocco. I have two guns because one don't shoot so far. <laughs> come back, come on! Come on! Come on back, come on! I'm Rocky Torelli, public enemy number one. I'm pretty tough. Mm -hmm. The other day a cop hit me over the head with a truncheon and a big lump came up. On the truncheon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, kid, Terry, baby, listen. You did okay as a fighter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I could have been a contender, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. I could have had class instead of just being a bum oh. like I am. Listen, you saw some money, kid, remember? Real money. <laughs> After your first fight, you were even able to give your girlfriend a necklace. Sure. It was my teeth strung together. <laughs> Budgie, Budgie. Come on, Budgie, let's hear from you. What have you got to say, Budgie? What have you got to say? I'm sick, sick, sick of Jamea! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, my God! That's my next number! Hi, <laughs> here, Polly. Uh, you be a bit quiet today, matey. <laughs> Go on. Break the silence and speak. Uh, hey! Hey! <laughs> Will you shut that door? <laughs> Yeah, eight, eight thousand stinking miles I come. With six slugs in me. And all for this. And this safe right here is what I want. Yeah, this safe. This safe is full of cash. <laughs> Johnny Cash. I keep this close watch on this love of mine I keep my eye wide open all the time I keep the ends out for the time that binds Because you're mine I'll walk the line Because you're mine I'll walk the line But he shut this door <laughs> White man, speak with forked tongue. <laughs> Many buffalo pass this way. Now the raw song now from the horse I had a mother that. Get down. Now, <laughs> beautiful song now from the fabulous, fantastic Miss Shirley Bassey. How's about that then? That Shirley Bassey, she's not so much. Take away her slinky gown, 
And what have you got? Ten years in jail, it's worth it. Mm. <laughs> you are awful. But I like you. <laughs> OK, big boy. So you think you're going to take my place, do you? You think you're going to replace me, huh? What makes you think you can do that, big boy? What makes you think you can take over from me? Mm. But I've been working on the press and see. Be red. I like it. Get a hog tonk. <laughs> what would you say to a little interview? Hello, little interview. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm interviewing people about holidays. Now, for instance, when, when do you go on a holiday? Do you camp? Don't talk shop. <laughs> Did you see the next rain, Janet? Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's you, Angus. Hey, hey. You want me to examine you? Ah, uh, please, hey, hey, hey. Put your right leg up. Pardon? Put your right leg up. Up where? Just at me. <laughs> Put your left leg up. <laughs> How long have you been having these dizzy spells? Hiya. <laughs> what do you know? And what do you say? Mm-hmm. I just shot two guys. A flat foot and a private eye. I got the eye in the foot and the foot in the eye. Thank you, thank you much, thank you. <laughs> now, for my first trick tonight... Oh, well, I shall, for I got the job. <laughs> for my first trick tonight, I need an assistant. Can I have a system, please? Any assistant, anywhere in the room. Thank you very much, thank Governor of this place is the meanest, nastiest governor of any prison in the world. Who else would put a drawing pin on the electric chair? Ladies <laughs> <laughs> and gentlemen, we have uh, Rocky Gazlano here, right here. Rocky Gazlano right here. Like, just before he goes in the ring, here at Madison Square Garden. Well, you know, but, uh, now, we're gonna, we're gonna ask a few questions to Rocky Gazlano, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Rocky? That's my name. <laughs> Rocky, how many fights have you had? Um... I have 336. 336? Mm-hmm. How many have lost? 336. <laughs> how come? Well, you can't win them all. <laughs> you know what I like about you, baby? Me and you, we're two of a kind. Yeah. I know what you mean, you dirty rat, you. That's good, keep it in. <laughs> no! I was speaking to you. <laughs> I'm speaking to you now from the heart of the African. <laughs> 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 I'm about to interview this gentleman. None other than the immortal ape man. Tarzan. <laughs> but tell me, Tarzan, I understand that you've just taken out a very famous woman on safari. That's right, love. <laughs> Gladys Feversham. Lovely girl. Really? She shot 12 lions. Goodness. Three leopards and one rhino. You mean you took Gladys, Lady Gladys Favis, and she shot all those animals? Yes, she did. Quite a bag. Oh, you know her then. 
Captain Silver, sir, I've just found a beautiful girl stowaway in hold number three. Well, send her to my cabin, and I'll show her hold number four. <laughs> Shut up! speak to the world-famous ballet dancer, Rudolf Boryoff. <laughs> Mr. Boryoff. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Boryoff. Good evening. Uh, would you like to take a chair? You know, you came to this country from Russia. Now, when exactly did you defect? What made you start dancing in the first? <laughs> Please. Uh, was it seeing other male dancers? <laughs> Mr. Boryoff, I believe... I believe uh, many years ago, your father was caught by the Cossacks. <laughs> well, thank you for being so frank. Uh, Mr. Boryov, Bali is very, de very demanding, uh, very physical. I mean, all the moves you have to execute. What's your favorite position? Um, well, <laughs> finally, could you tell us what you most like about the ballet? It's the money, isn't it? How's about it then? How's about it then? Beautiful song now from Total Pops. How's about beautiful song now? How's about it then? So how's about a beautiful song now? Hell of hats. How's about it? And spread it. Thank you, Cliff. Thank you, Mr. Nate. Ladies and gentlemen, how's about it then? For who is it? Ruby King. Ruby Keeler. Thank you. Get off your horse and drink your milk. Hey, Mush! Give us half a bitter, will you? And give us a full one this time, and I'll put one on you. Well, excuse me, sir, but aren't you Neil Card? Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. Then why are you talking like that? It's me day off, innit? Me day off! And now. Tarzan as Frankie Vaughan. Give me the moonlight, give me the gun, I leave the rest to... This is the point in the program where I introduce a note of culture. Mm -hmm. And I'm just the man to bash it to you. I'm going to do my funny walk now. That's me doing it over there. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it quite well today, as I ate up all my breakfast like a good boy. Now you know why they call me Long John! <laughs> Wow. 
Why do you walk alone, stranger? I haven't the faintest idea, look. <laughs> So come and get it. It's back to the old Cliff Richard. Come on, pretty baby, let's move it and groove it. Shake it, baby, shake it, honey, please don't lose it. The rhythm that gets into your heart and soul. Let me tell you, baby, it's called rock and roll. Thank you so much for listening to my mind and the pictures and welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do love me. Give me the blue light. Give me the girl. <laughs> and one summer's day. They crept in the hay. Okay, baby. This is it. It's curtains for you. Johnny, what on earth are you talking about? I'm talking about you selling me out to the cops, baby. I told you if you ran it on me, I'd choke the life out of you, and that's what I'm gonna do. Johnny, you don't mean it. You can't. Oh, no. I mean what I say. I mean what I say, baby. I'm gonna strangle you with this. I found this in your bedroom. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> My girdle's killing me. Well, how about that then, Cliff? Well, I must say, listen, I'm out of the middle song now from the top of the box, so I'm out then. <laughs> now, you've all got a song now from the top of the box, so I'm out of the song now from the hood and heart, so I'm out of the then. <laughs> so as my beautiful song now for the fabulous, fantastic Mr. Billy Fury. <laughs> guys and girls, won't be a minute. <laughs> I want to be your lover, but your friend is all I stay. Don't leave me halfway to paradise So near yet so far away I long for your lips to kiss my lips But just when I think they may and only halfway to paradise, so near yet so far away. Oh, so near yet so far away. Oh, so near yet so far away. And now it's time for the nine o'clock news. Today, today, Gentlemen of Opry St. Mary, how do, how are you? Ladies and gentlemen, standing next to me now at the microphone, I have a wonderful old man. Would you be so kind as to tell me how old you are? Um, I'm 88, well, <laughs> 88. Uh... Isn't that grand? <laughs> now, I believe I'm right in saying that you lost an arm on the Somme in 1950. Uh, uh, that's, that's right, Wilfred. Well, I've got a little surprise for you because last week 
Mabel and I went over there and we found it. <laughs> so there's your art. <laughs> Don't answer that. It might be a trick. What do you mean, you dirty rat? You, what do you mean? We ain't got a phone.